Hi, guys. <laughs> Welcome to another Saturday morning stream. I am Steven Anderson, and I am excited to finally get started today. It has been a long morning already. I got on, and it took a while to get started because it seemed like everything required some sort of update. And, oh my goodness, it was just too much. It was so much. <laughs> it's like my webcam didn't want to work, and uh, my ZBrush license wasn't found, and uh, I needed to update Streamlabs, and just like one thing after another, and so it's like it took forever. So you guys are great for waiting and for coming and checking everything out. I am ready to kind of get started on stuff. Uh, this is skip note until next time. Okay, cool. The material looks so weird right now. I mean, it should render just fine, but you know, just to be able to kind of check and see where things are at before we get started. Um, dang, how's your time been since the last? It's been a it's been a good few weeks. Um. Golly, um, yeah, I think the last time I streamed was before going to Comic-Con uh, a couple weeks ago, and I think it might have even been a couple of weeks before that, doggone, how about that? So, yeah, so just as a little bit of an update, this is where our character is currently sitting, and, I mean, we got a couple of uh, stand-in pieces to help her to, uh, you know, feel a little bit more complete. But, I'm trying to decide if I want to add in those earrings now or if I want to let them be for a little bit. Let's put on that collar. That collar is going to be a good uh, piece to help us feel a little bit more complete. Let's come down here and say RGB color fill object. I have it a I have it as like a brown so that it felt a little bit so that so that we knew that it was stand in but you know whatever. Ca character looks uh, great. How'd you create? Are are you saying the eyes? Uh, what materials did you use? The uh, so the eyes themselves are just a basic um, red shift material, but then on top of the eyes, if we come up here, we go up one. You see, I've got this uh, this extra sphere that's just a complete sphere. Um, this has this glass material assigned to it, so that when Redshift renders it, it renders it with a with a nice transparency, a little bit of refraction, um, and it really gives the eyes a, a a decent little bit of depth to them makes it feel much more natural you can see kind of how that's going on but yeah it's really cool it's a really fun uh, fun combination it's it's just kind of how we build eyes in uh, for production so so that's how that's going out um, I need to figure out what happened okay there's my topology I was gonna say it's like my topology didn't get lost, did it? Huh. I would have been a little bothered by that. And then I have no idea what material this is using. Maybe it's just using whatever is, uh, yeah, whatever is basic. That's the startup material. I want that. It's the startup material. It's not basic material. Let's get this one. Save as startup material. All right. Cool. So yeah, here's here's the topology that we've developed so far. Now the idea is to go through and get as much of this topology worked in as possible. Oh, my audio is just fine. <laughs> my audio is just fine, Chris. The uh, uh, the care it's it's as good as it's going to get. I've got my mic as close to my mouth. I mean, I try to have it like as close to my mouth without swallowing it as possible. Um, 
So, I mean, hopefully that's, you know, maybe sometimes it just takes a little bit of adjusting. But yeah, that's as, that's as much as I can, I can get. Um, uh, it's, <laughs> it's always a hard thing. Every stream people complain about the audio. I think I need to just put a big bar across the top that says, don't say anything about the sound. <laughs> Um, <laughs> it's like, don't you dare. Uh, so let's, um, I'm going to say, let's turn on that transparency. I want to keep working on building out this topology. Um, and then uh, I'm not sure how far we'll get, but the idea is to be able to go through and make this so that it's a full production ready model, um, sculpted out nicely. <laughs> Sorry, Chris. Yeah, I don't know. It's just, for some reason, like, if I'm not almost swallowing this mic, like, people can't hear me. And I get complaints all the time. And some people will complain. Other people will be like, no, it's just fine. You know, it's... Oh, it's like I, I do mic checks on, on Streamlabs before I start streaming. So it's like... I don't know. I mean, I'd take off the little pop screen, but it, that would probably make things worse. And it's like I've got a really big bottom lip, and so it's like if I have it too close to my mouth, it, like my lips touch it, and it's, it tickles. <laughs> it tickles. It's like, I don't like it. I don't like it. Yeah. Anyway, let's go ahead. Let's get started on this and see what we can develop here. There are some things happening that I'm not, I'm not 100% sold on. Like, I don't, I don't know. I don't know, I'm not, I'm not entirely certain whether I like this flow versus this flow versus this flow. Um, that might just be how it needs to be. That's, that's how I've put it in so far. But yeah, I don't know. It's, it's, that's tricky. Let's go ahead and let's start extrude. Snap to surface. Everything else should be fine. Let's go to the points. We'll say move, snap to surface. I'm just going to turn this to do nothing. I might turn it to do uh, to to be a delete later, but I don't know. We'll have to see. How long did you sculpt that? I so this is um, kind of a I'll say a re a rehash from a project that I did like seven years ago, uh, eight years ago, something like that. I think it's 2015. Um, thanks, sis. Um, yeah, no, the pop screens are super important. They, they definitely, yeah, they soften the hard consonants. Yeah, that's exactly what it is. Yeah, otherwise you get the p, 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 p and it sounds really hard. <laughs> oh, one of the other things that I need to do before I go through and develop topology, especially for this lower area, I want to open her jaw a little bit more because I want to be able to make the good topology kind of going around the opening of her mouth. And currently with her mouth closed like this, that's going to be really hard to do. So... Here's what we're going to do. Let's solo this out. I'm going to... This is symmetrical, right? Yeah, it looks like it is. Yeah, let's see. Let's use the mask curve Let's 
Just mask that out, mask that out. And then super hard to see. Oh. There we go. Give me a second. That is definitely a Herman Miller chair. <laughs> uh, it's been my favorite chair that I've ever had. Such a nice chair. All right. Sorry, my son was going through a crisis. Um. Let's see. Um, he's been, I mean, both my kids have been playing Hogwarts Legacy and they super, super love it. And right now my son's going through and battling for that Graphorn. Um, and he's been excited about that more than anything else <laughs> in the whole game. And uh, he's been working through it this morning. And he got, like, he, he almost got there. Um, <laughs> yeah, I, I, didn't, I didn't go do it for him. <laughs> I can't do that for him right now. Um, you know, maybe, if at all, I'll do it, like, after the stream. But, yeah, I definitely can't do it right now. Um, I'm busy. <laughs> Who knows? Maybe Nini will go and do it. <laughs> I'm going to turn off that material so that I don't have to worry about Too much here. Since this stretches out a little bit, I want to make sure that it's reflected in the anatomy above, because um, that'll thin out the uh, the stuff in the cheeks, and things will kind of change a little bit. I don't want to change it like a ton, a ton. Because uh, you know I'm doing it more than anything to kind of get it so that the uh, topo so that it's ready for topology, but um, I do want to make sure that I have you know sufficient for building this out. Make sure that I'm swallowing that mic so that you guys can hear me. <laughs> no, Nini doesn't play. I mean, I got her to play it once. <laughs> game was great. It is. It's a really nice game. It's a really fun one. Uh, I actually worked on it as a character artist. Um, 
I've seen a lot of clothing assets and all the hands and everything. You know, I that's that's my handiwork. <laughs> Uh, I also did the moon calf. That's the only creature that I did that actually ended up in the game. I did the billywigs, but um, my billywig model is much more complicated and complex than uh, than what ended up in the game. So you know, whatever. Um, Does game or film industry use polypaint characters or only texture maps that we do in Substance or other texture software? I use I use um, polypaint to get some textures, uh, some texture information. <laughs> Luigi, <laughs> how you doing? <laughs> Do welcome. It's always fun when you jump in because you always give this nice, friendly hello. You know, it's just it's just fun. It's just fun. Okay, I'm going to turn that collar off just so that I don't have to worry about really much of anything. Okay. Turn that back on. I don't particularly care for how this previews. This is like really weird. I'm not sure what's creating that um, that artifacting, the noisiness there. But uh, I have I have no idea who Beerus is. <laughs> is that that one from? Um, gosh, I don't remember what game that was. But but yeah. Anyway. But yeah. So the. Uh, so yeah, I mean, I'll I'll use polypaint all the time to be able to get different uh, different color information, or even to be able to paint things like um, yeah, different maps. Um, I don't use Z Remesher ever unless it's for pieces that I know for sure um, that I will, um, you know, that I can actually use it for because that's. It's it's not a production ready tool. Um, there are things that you can use it for though, like things like rocks, things like um, like some hard surface stuff. You can use that and get some really good production ready topology for it. But things like characters, um, they're much more delicate, and so there's a lot more that we need to do to actually control what's going on there. Um, so even if we did use Z Remesher for it, it'd be something that we would have to go through and control a ton after the fact. So yeah, I mean, generally speaking, I tend to not use Z Remesher uh, when it comes to um, when it comes to what's it called retopology. This down, bring this down. Just trying to cozy these points out some and try to make them. Make them feel a little bit nicer. So a little bit about me for anybody who's new to the stream. Uh, my name is Steven Anderson. I am a character supervisor on Overwatch. <laughs> the hat. Um really fun job and I super enjoy the game and it's just that is a nightmare that does not belong okay delete hidden I'm curious where that came from that's kind of funny all right uh, yeah so that's that's what I do currently um, I do this as like a side thing that, you know, just because I super enjoy being able to work on, uh, personal projects and, um, and yeah, you know, having a, having a full-time job, you gotta kind of make time for things. So, 
So, um, Anubav, uh, yeah, so if, if you're, uh, if you notice, retopology is what I'm doing right now. So, um, so yeah, I do it here. Uh, ZBrush is my, is my main, um, I definitely, definitely love ZBrush. Um, there are things, you know, times where the topology will get a little bit too tight, um, or you know, for instance, I'll use um, I'll use Maya. I'll take it over from from ZBrush over into Maya to be able to do things like uh, interior eye bags or interior mouth bags, and that becomes really helpful. Um, there, yeah, there's, there's a lot. Um, I'm not going to get anything done today. <laughs> it's like, I feel like a lot of what I'm doing right now, besides chatting, is, like, getting my bearings. Okay, I want to, I want to have this topology kind of come down and, and flow with this. Um... But I also need this to kind of flow this way. So I'm going to end up having like a three-point star in here somewhere. So I think let's... Uh, let's see what we can build this out. See what we can figure out here. know what let's instead of instead of focusing on that for right now let's let's focus on this and getting this shape to be right we'll just bring this all the way to this end here to where this uh, change needs to happen because maybe instead of having it be a three point maybe it just ends up being a five point right here and then we'll have a three point in here somewhere to be able to that might be that might be what it ends up being. Let's kind of pull this over some. Yeah, it's always like experimentation. It's that's that's the name of the game when it comes to <laughs> when it comes to topology and and uh, you know building things out for production. Hey, Prashan, it's good to see. Well, it's good to hear from you. I I can't really see you but <laughs> but you're the man it's been dude it's been so fun to see um oh there are a ton of differences between Maya and Max Maya is better <laughs> no it, it kind of depends on what you're doing a lot of people just have preferences they're owned by the same company now um I don't see Max getting used Sounds like he missed. Uh, sounds like he got it. Sounds like he finished it. Um, I forgot what I was saying. But yeah, just lots going on. Yeah, he's riding that crap horn now. That must be a happy boy. Um, yeah, it drives me nuts when I when I'm saying something and then I forget what it was that I was saying. <laughs> Hopefully, it wasn't important. It probably was. I was probably like addressing somebody's questions. Game was super fun. Sad they 
DC. What does DC mean? PVE. So PVE isn't being done away with. Um, if you guys have been been watching there, the missions. That's that's PVE. Discontinued. I never, I'd never heard that before. That's interesting. So yeah, PVE is those are those missions invasion that's coming out next week. Um, it's super fun, guys. Like like, it will blow your mind. It is such a good time. Um, yeah, I I have super enjoyed playing through those missions and uh, yeah. Oh my god, you're gonna enjoy it so much. You're gonna enjoy it so so much. Um, yeah, in fact, like when I can, that's that's like exclusively what I'll play. Um, that and prop hunt, like mischief and magic, uh, from current season five. So much fun! It's so much fun, and it's it's one of those things. It's such an adrenaline rush because it's like trying to make sure that you don't totally die. <laughs> <laughs> but uh um like when you're when you're hiding and then like if you're doing the seeking like it's such a rush when you're when you're walking around and you hear all the uh you hear all the rogues like chatting from around you and you're like where are they at where are they at <laughs> it's uh it's intense it gets intense love it so much um they have some new ones that are coming up too that i can't wait till they announce them because i think that a lot of people will be really really excited about them uh, they're still in early development though so so it'll be a while before they before they really say anything about them but yeah cool stuff coming up really really cool stuff coming up I think that, uh, I guess going back to PVE, like, I think there were some other things that were a little bit more, um, like there, there are some other things kind of going on that maybe got a little bit, a little bit, I, I don't know, discontinued, like refocused in a different direction, but yeah. Yeah, definitely need to do UVs inside of something like Maya. Um, I, hey, kid, wonder. <laughs> yeah, I gotta, I gotta get, I gotta get with it with the with the gamer talk and everything. It's like everybody at work uses different little algorithms, and uh, not algorithms. Well, yeah, they use algorithms too, but. <laughs> um different little acronyms and things like that that I'm just like what I mean it's like I, it's been about 20 years since I've really been in the gaming world and then uh like as a gamer but then at that time there wasn't the live online play there wasn't a whole bunch of like you know online chat and things like that around around gaming uh, like not like there is today anyway um, so it's just kind of a kind of a, a new world to be stepping into um, but yeah they'll they'll use <laughs> gamer chat as you will um, things like GG for good game they'll which I'm sure everybody else already knows. But you know, whatever. I didn't know it. <laughs> yeah, lots of lingo. Hey, Leonard. Welcome, welcome. <laughs> okay. This is going to be a treat. 
here. I'm going to I'm going to start building out topology going around the outside of the mouth. In fact, let's kind of bring this down so we can have a point of reference for where things are going to connect. I want this to go down and around. Let's let's kind of bring this over so that it's got a little bit nicer of a of a flow. Oh, you know what? Maybe not that one. Maybe let's do this one. I know that this is like kind of a stretch. <sighs> now I'm now I'm debating. You know what? Yeah, this this flows in a way and maybe it's just a matter let's see, let's let's try this instead. It might be a matter of taking instead of having the mouth be quite this wide, let's let's make it so that it's less wide. Cuz I think one of the things that I'm running into is that I'm creating this uh like usually for for character topology, uh, we have this. This is I I, I hate the preview for that material. Um, the thing that that I'm running into, the thing that we try to have is we try to have like a like a loop going around you know the nose and the mouth, but I think that this particular um, this particular character is going to need something a little bit more, uh, I'll say flexible, but flexible from the standpoint of making it so that it follows uh, the, the, the volumes. Um, it's, yeah, so I think that instead of having something like over here having this go down and around I think it's just going to be a matter of having this come down and around um, so we're going to have that and then uh, you know what let's say let's pull this up a little bit come here you Pull it down. Okay, then this is going to come up and over like this to start to create kind of this flow going up and over um, to here. So we can kind of complete that loop. This loop can go down and around uh, around the uh, the lips here now. Pull this over. Something like this. So now this is going to become the corner of the mouth. Okay. If we make a character and do polypaint and then do the retopo, is it now ready for animation? Or for animation, do we have to use texturing software? Yeah, you can you can use polypaint to create textures. Um, a lot of times you'll go through and you take whatever you create inside of ZBrush. Like what I do is I'll, I'll take whatever I create in ZBrush, I'll take it into Substance Painter, or I'll take it into um, Photoshop or things like that to be able to do other edits. Um, so, I mean, it's, it's, it's all about kind of trying to figure out what you need in the end. Um, there are a lot of things to. I need one more. Um, there are a lot of things to kind of consider, but it's just it's just a matter of figuring out what you need in the end. Oh, I did put in an extra. You know what? Not a huge deal. that in there let's 
going to spread this out just a smidge. Because that's how we do. Got to cozy it out. Hey, Leonard, how's your... Uh, How's your printing project going? Your uh, your little cake topper project. Are they about ready for print. Yep, using Z Modeler to re retopologize. It's a uh, it's a really nice flexible tool. Um, I've I've always super 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 enjoyed it. It's one. Of, it's one of those that I feel like uh, some people might not like jive with as much as I do, but it's it's one that I've just loved. I'm gonna say bridge edges. Let's just go boom, 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 boom. Very cool. Okay. Now this little bit in here, it's going to need some support, so I'll probably end up taking this edge and bringing it over more. Um, in fact, let's let's do that now since we're here. Uh, I mean, I I'm doing the process, so hopefully that's enough about. <laughs> how I do my process um, it's uh, um, yeah I mean a lot of what I what I'm trying to do is you know like like I would in in a production environment you know I'm just trying to, to go through and consider things uh, with the uh, edge flow make sure that things are nice and clean um, I need to make sure that as I'm as I'm thinking about like how the mesh would deform that I have a good grid that's going perpendicular to the action um, Thanks, Brashad. <laughs> Did you say that it's ideal to follow the contour of the body features when doing character retopo? Is this um, for the low poly prior to high poly bake? Um, yeah. So this is um, yeah. This is for like the the low poly production ready mesh. Um, the idea is to have it so that it's yeah, so that it's so that it's ready um, for for animation, ready for deformation. Just gotta bring these things over so that they are properly spaced. That might be. We'll have to see. Kind of, if this creates pinching, then then we'll have to figure out kind of how to fix that in a little bit. But all this is going to have to kind of smooth out and cozy out some. It's a little bit, uh, yeah, it's just a process. It's like a lot of what I'm trying to look for, like places like right here, I want to make sure that there isn't any pinching happening right there. I can see that there's some edge inconsistencies in here. Um, so it's just a matter of kind of going through and, and fixing things. Uh, I can see that I'm getting some interesting rises through here and that's probably in large part because that's that's likely what's happening with the um with the mesh underneath it so i mean i'll i'll probably not worry myself too hard about it but yeah this isn't going to this is going to need to get cozied out let's work on that some As 
like some of these things some for some of these things I can just go through and kind of smooth right and that that'll work decently all right some of these things especially down here I'm going to want to smooth like even out the topology a little bit more manually um, yeah I'm not entirely sold with the way that this is that this is going so far I'm, I'm curious I'm, I'm like almost curious here to see if if it would be better to have you know what I'm gonna look something up let's let's look something up let's uh, let's pull up the interwebs here um, Sculpting people is out of your wheelhouse. Where is the internet? There we are. Awesome. Just to check the calendar. Saturday at 11 o'clock. Okay, I need to make sure that I uh, get off in time for, for Anissa to go through and do her things. Um, we should be fine. Got another hour. Um... Two hours until she starts up, so that's that'll be good. Um, that's a stream that I haven't checked out yet, so uh, so we'll have to to go through and see kind of kind of how things go. Um, all right, Biosite. Here's this is this is the link that you can go to if you want to be able to see any of my things. Um, Yeah, it is fun to see the to see Leonard's things on Discord. <laughs> it's really good. Uh, let me see. Let me see. Let me see. What was I looking for? Oh, I was looking for lion face. I, like, I'm I'm curious. Here we go. Yeah, that's this is this is the kind of thing that I'm wanting to see. Yeah, it's like you can see kind of a similar sort of idea where it's like the topology is going down around into the mouth. There isn't really like a this like a like a loop kind of going down around the mouth and and like that. We just kind of have loops coming going going down around the mouth here. This this looks really nice. This looks good. I'm going to go ahead and copy that over to my reference board just because that's that's nicely done what about this one uh, it's not as nicely done it looks like it's Z Z modeler or uh, Z remesher rather but yeah, I'll keep I'll keep I'll keep this one. This one looks nice. This one's this one looks controlled. This one looks very purposeful. Um, at least you know down in this area, it looks it looks really good. This looks really messy. Looks like maybe they did some sort of uh, projection or something like that. I'm not entirely sure. You got something else finished, huh? Are you watching on two platforms, Leonard? <laughs> Or he just bouncing back and forth uh, from uh, from YouTube to Twitch. <laughs> That's really funny. Like I was looking through, and I was like, I swear you just posted on Twitch, and like looked up a few few comments above, and it's like, yeah, you did. You 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 you're you're on both platforms, bud. <laughs> it's like whatever whatever platform's getting the most action. <laughs> Leonard exists in all dimensions. He is Leonard. Cool. So yeah, I think I think we're we're all right, kind of the way that we're going right now. Um, so yeah, it'll just be a matter of yeah. You know, I might actually need to here. Let's insert another edge loop in here. Let's get rid of that one. You know what? Let's say Yeah, let's, let's say something like that. Slide edge loop. 
complete. I'm just going to try to cozy these out a little bit. It's uh, it's it's going to be a little bit of work here getting this to feel quite right, but I feel like it's going to be important to to well, it it, it is going to be important to get it to to cozy out nicely. see let's get these points kind of evened out a little bit through here I'm just gonna kind of smooth like gently smoothing Pull that over, pull this over. It's like, it's it's all about trying to make it so that it feels a little bit more consistent. There are some places like right in here where it's, it's gonna be a little bit harder to make it feel super consistent because it gets really, really tight. Um, I just popped the chat on YouTube, okay. Watch on Twitch, but Prashan hasn't moved over to the dark side. <laughs> Uh, Prashad. I'm trying to remember. No, I think I've always only seen you on YouTube. I think you. I think Leonard's right. Come to the dark side. You know what? Let's see. Let's take this down and around. Change this back to move, snap to surface, so that we're getting some good action here. I'm going to want to insert another loop right here. And then, let's say, extrude this out. Okay, let's, let's start building this out this way. I'm trying to decide, though. It's like one of the things that usually we'll try to do is have our five-pointed stars on the same loop so that it's just more predictable. I don't know. Let's, let's, let's change this to delete, delete. And we'll just make it, we'll make, we'll make it like that. Just so that this way, this five point is following up to this five point. It's just part of that same flow. Uh, okay. Here is me changing my mind. I'm going to keep it like this. And the reason I'm going to keep it like this is because I've got this, uh, I've got this, this flow coming right here. I want this to be my midpoint. Uh, for my mouth, uh, so essentially, like all my topology, top to bottom is going. I want it to start reflecting right here. So I'll have an extra edge loop in here. Uh, in fact, let's let's just keep it on extrude. We'll just bring this back um, to be able to reflect this, uh, to be able to reflect this, to be able to reflect this. So now we can kind of bring this up and connect. Just to be able to kind of keep track with what's like what's going to where, um, having these reciprocate top to bottom, it's going to be important so that things can kind of um, um, so that things can kind of so that things can match up better when you open and close the mouth. Okay, same thing with the eye when we get to the eye at some point in the distant future, very distant future. I'm not going to worry about that future <laughs> yet. Um, let me see. This will eventually like come out a little bit more so that it's more, more flush. Um, 
right now you can see it's kind of going in following that volume, but it'll come out a little bit more so that I can better control. Or maybe, or maybe I'll just take it in like further and then give it an extra loop and pull that out. I don't know what we'll to see. That could be worthwhile actually, just going up and let's do it. Pull that down, just down, down to like, ooh, not there. Yeah, lots of good popping happening right here now. Let's get this to kind of match that surface a little bit better. I had forgotten that I had smoothed it out. <laughs> as as you do, right? <laughs> This can cozy out some. So yeah, I'm just trying to find good evenness and and trying to you know as as much as I can anyway at the moment. I'll have to figure out some other things to make sure that this feels a little bit more consistent. And I don't know, maybe it's a a matter of get like all sorts of weird weird messages sometimes just like junk from random places <laughs> it's like I am not I, I, I am never happy to receive junk mail <laughs> Although I don't know about never. I mean, there there might have been junk mail that I might have benefited from. I don't know. I can't remember. I don't think anybody's ever really happy about junk mail. Yeah, see right here how it's starting to get, like, it's starting to collapse in on itself. Uh, this is where taking it into... Maya is beneficial for for topology is when you start to get so tight that you can't quite get a clean placement. I do want to take these and kind of crunch them in a little bit though. It's like it's all about kind of keeping that line and having that line go in nice and clean. Trying to decide. <laughs> on 20 things at the same time. <laughs> I'm sure a few of you can relate. <laughs> I'm trying to decide on a dozen things at the same time. Can't make any decisions on any of them. That looks pretty all right. I mean, it's not it's not perfectly even, but it's more even, and it'll it'll kind of uphold the shape. So a big thing a big thing about dude, good to see you, Prashant. Thanks for uh, thanks for coming and hanging out for a bit. But yeah, re the thing about retopo is that like if the closer together the points are. Um, you can create ridges and pinching and things like that. So it's it's a great way to be able to control your shape, um, but it's also something that you've got to be very, very careful of because if you have pinching in the wrong places, you'll have unintentional uh, bumps and valleys and things like that, like up in, up in oops, 
Where did we go? We're down. Okay. It's like up in here, it feels like it's inconsistent. Um, so it's just a matter of coming up and trying to you know, trying to level things out, trying to make sure that things are creating the shape that I want to see in the world. Sorry, I think I mis misquoted that. Um, yeah, it's still kind of creating a little bit. too much and it might be easier to to clean it up a little later too just kind of cozy it out just smooth it but i'm doing like the relaxed smooth so you know it's kind of nice um, how do you have it snap to surface when you extrude an edge so there there are different modifiers with uh with z modeler that are insanely helpful um, so there's this, uh, you know, hold space bar. You have the extrude option for your edge actions. Uh, you have your target, which is your edge and edge loop. Um, if I if I hit Alt while I'm doing it, then it'll go through and it'll allow me to um, kind of do like an edge loop or like a series of edges. Um, so that's kind of nice. But it's this option down here, the snap to surface, that allows me to actually draw it out on the surface. So, and we have that option for point action as well. So, so you know, keep a chat, uh, keep a keep a keep an eye out for those sorts of things. Really, really nice. <laughs> Thanks, Commander Dante. <laughs> Decision making is the occupational hazard of life. Yeah, it's the occupational hazard of everything. Yeah, life. Uh huh. Yep. That's exactly what it is. That's life. That's what all the people say. Kind of cozy this out some so that it's a little bit more evened out. Yeah, just, you know, nice, easy talking. It sounds like something, it smells like something's cooking. This stuff might need to compress up some. And you know it might be something that we go through. We start drawing out what's down here, and and then we compress. But you know it's. I'm gonna try to do what I can for the moment to prep for it. Let's kind of make our brush size a little bit smaller. The nice thing about this uh, tool is that it'll. Like when you pull these these edges out, it's affected by whatever color your polygroup is. So if I have, let's say I have something like this, you can see green, but there's yellow right there. Okay, so so it's really kind of a kind of a neat kind of a neat thing. A great way to be able to preserve information that you have, uh, you know, decided for yourself, you know, that you have controlled, um, So yeah, another thing that we can do is I can just pull out, tap Alt, get that whole row. And that's pretty nice. We'll grab these so that we can grab, connect things a little bit more easily here. Yeah, a lot of this is going to need to be kind of like smoothed and then re-sculpted. It's just kind of part of the part of the process. <laughs> oh, I got a terrible singing voice. No, it's like it's it's 
no, it's it's terrible. It literally is one of the worst singing. <laughs> I get lucky every once in a while where things will kind of sound all right. And usually it's little things where I've uh, I've either heard it enough and I've sung it enough with the person to you know or with the uh, with the song to be able to really figure it out. But yeah, it's uh, singing is not something that was ever in my wheelhouse. My sisters are really good with you know they have great voices. My mother has a great voice. My dad plays the radio, so you know. <laughs> Uh, he's as in tune as his FM dial is. Um, but yeah, we like to joke around that my dad and I sing tenor. Uh, it's best that we sing tenor, you know, 10 or 11 miles away, you know. <laughs> but my wife doesn't mind my singing voice, so, you know, that's that's a win. I am going to pull this out. Pull. Ah, uh, I see. Make sure that that's all connected. Oh, come on. There we go. Now we can connect. It's like I, I was going to put this up in here, and I was like, nah, nah. <laughs> you sing solo, solo, you can't hear me. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, but I, it's something I, I enjoy singing. It's fun. It's a nice release of uh, of energy and, <laughs> and all <of> that. <laughs> but it's one of those things that uh, I've never got good at. see if I can kind of pull these points over a little bit more. Like we're going to see if we can get any of this going in. It's like there will be a lot of cleaning up and a lot of uh, pulling out. And we've gotten some good things done so far. Let me see. It's quarter after nine. It's 20, 20 after nine. I didn't, I didn't really do a solo for Fiddler on the Roof. I was part of Fiddler on the Roof. I was the, uh, I was the constable. And, uh, so, like, I, I mean, I did have, like, some, some big, it's, it's a big role, but it's not a big singing role, so, you know, it's, so far as singing in that production, I was, I was a background part, so it was nice. No, I don't think I had a solo, I mean, I had a, maybe a, like, 
it's kind of like a front dancer for the bottle dance, but <laughs> that was fun. That was fun. I enjoyed that. Uh, you know what? Let's let's. I'm gonna take this. I'm going to modify this structure just a little bit. And maybe what I actually need to do is take this and modify this just slightly. I'm gonna pull this forward some. Just so long as it doesn't ruin the uh the aesthetic of the character. To life and our good fortune. And I'm like mumbling songs because I don't want to actually sing them. <laughs> okay. Yeah, once I once I have the topology all finished for that space, then it'll be a lot easier to uh, to kind of um, what's the word? I lost what I was think. What my thought was. Um, shoot, I hate it when that happens. Uh, once I ha once I have the topology all done, I'll, it'll be easier to kind of clean up forms and things like that because I'll have less less mesh fewer points to deal with no cap all right that top will be bussing I think that's probably one of the silliest little uh, internet sensations for me at this moment is the uh, is the ridiculous series of uh, of Gen Z terminology and jargon and lingo and all that, and then the even more ridiculous uh, lengths that uh, millennials go through to make fun of it. <laughs> <laughs> like it makes me wonder if there was ever that sort of trend with you know like boomers and gen xers or um because i mean like there there are you know you hear the classic you know get a haircut you hippie uh things like that that could possibly be i mean that would be like what comes from no that probably be from like before boomers uh or like older boomers to younger boomers i don't know but yeah, like there is that funny making fun of me as a millennial i'm making fun of everybody this it's it's ridiculous we, we we're ridiculous as a society <laughs> We're we're all going to we're not we but you know the collective we like society is going to look back at, at itself in the history books and be like wait what's a vine or <laughs> like TikTok like what are they thinking Snapchat
see that's where it got a little bit hairy. You're a wizard, Harry. You can see it gets starting to snap. So I, I gotta I gotta check and see. Uh geometry. There we go. Yeah, I mean my weld tolerance is as low as I can make it. Let's change it back down to to single edge. So I want this to start to kind of fan out a little bit more so that it's a little bit less um, creased as we get further away from the eye. All that will get refined as we go along. Like I feel like every once in a while I'll get into focus mode and everything else just fades to, I'll say fades to black. <laughs> kind of pull that along, make it a little bit more evened out here. I gotta try to look through the chat now. Uh, where did I learn 3D modeling? I started learning in high school. Um, a friend, the Silent Generation. Yeah. Thanks, Leonard. Um, so yeah, I started learning in high school. A friend of mine invited me to take a 3D animation class, and I feel like insanely lucky that we had that type of resource. Um, but it was, uh, yeah, I took, I took the class in high school and fell in love with it. And, um, and so I started trying to pursue, uh, 3d animation as, uh, as a career, went to school and, uh, got my degree in animation and, um, fell in love with 3d modeling and, started to get started to get all right at it you know <laughs> um, yeah it's it's a lot of fun and that, that's so that's how I got started I got I got started because I got an invitation from a friend to take a class with him and loved it. Loved that. <laughs> yeah. Can you make anime? No. Animes are very, very hard uh, genre to work with. <laughs> um, and it, I have a, I have a couple of my students actually um, who are taking my class right now who they, um, they're working on very anime-esque characters. Um, and so that's, um, yeah, it was, it was crazy. Um, 
It was crazy, crazy. It there because the thing with anime is that the forms are very simplified. Uh, they're very streamlined. Um, they're very smooth. They're delicate. Um, and I think a lot of what people intend or, or people tend to do when they're doing something like anime is that they tend to go overly naturalistic with it. Um, like they put in too much anatomy. Um, it just gets, it gets kind of, kind of tricky, gets kind of messy. So it's, it's one of those, one of those times where you know, it's it's one of those genres that I tend to not work in myself. Um, <laughs> cat video obsessions, yep. <laughs> Made a really cool sculpt of Zoro from One Piece. Yeah, it's it's a fun. Uh, it was a fun piece, but it was it was definitely super hard. Um, and I and there are things that I think of looking at it now that I'm just like, you know, I I could have done that differently. Yeah. It scares me as the aliens get here and they aren't going to think the human race is very intelligent. <laughs> yeah, it's like like they, they worship these cat things. It's like what's that? <laughs> me now trying to math. <laughs> Feel like I should know this. ESC got part of, uh, part right at least. Uh, how many years is that that now then, Brodre? Like doing three D modeling stuff. Oh, like I I did the the class in high school is two thousand six. Um. So I mean it's been like seventeen years. Um. It's half my life. <laughs> Yeah, I actually, I saw that. I saw that with anime and cats. Um, and I think that that's really kind of an interesting, I'll say an interesting observation. Um, it's an interesting observation. I... I both, uh, I both agree and I, I don't know. I, I, I don't know. I, I don't know that I've ever seen anything more than just a TikTok about that. So like, I don't know that that's necessarily an academic answer to why anime looks the way it looks, but yeah, definitely mixed feelings. Um, I think it's super cool. I think it's super cool, and if that's actual, legitimate, and uh, true, then uh, then you know, hey, that's kind of fun. Um, but if it's not, I feel very lied to. No, I'm just kidding. It's like there's so many so many people out there doing videos just for the shock value and and all that and that's how it's always been right entertainment's that way etc. Um, weld so we can keep that going nicely. So yeah, this uh, this bit right here that I'm working on right now, this will kind of flow up underneath the bottom of the lip um, at some point. <laughs> This can probably actually come down to the bottom. This bit right here needs to kind of be minimized even further, I think. Um, 
I don't know. Let's 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 find out. Let's let's see what we can do with this. No, don't merge. Merge that in, merge that in. Then all these little points right here, I want to uh, change my masking. Let's go into mask lasso. Yeah, I forget that that's what the uh, generation before the boomers was called. It's the silent generation. Oh, but it's silent. So yeah, that's definitely like too much going into that specific spot. So <laughs> I'm just a baby. Let me see. Just qualified for social security. Hey, at least you'll qualify. <laughs> Yeah, I think by the time I get to that age, it won't be a thing anymore. Of course, that's just the rumor going around. It might not be true, but yeah, I don't know. What is the goal of doing retopology like that? Zero measure works fine. Yeah. Yeah, zero measure works just fine. But uh, not for this. <laughs> yeah, so zero measure is not, is not production worthy. Um, you have a lot of cleanup you have to do to uh, to Z remesher topology to make it so that it works for production. So so that's kind of the the idea is to make something that is something that is good and ready to hit an animation pipeline. See, it's like I'm st I'm like trying to condense this down so that it goes is it I mean it's gone from 1 2 3 4 8 edges down to 4 now. Maybe what I can do is instead of having this go like this, maybe I can have this condense, have like this part condense up here. But yeah, so yeah. Um. In this way, it'll kind of uh, you know simplify things down a little bit higher up. Um, so this way, yeah, let's go ahead and say collapse poly loop. So that this way we have a little bit less of uh, <laughs> a good a good deal fewer. Um, points to actually deal with. So this goes down into the bottom area here. I'm thinking that I'm going to need to have this resolution back here so that it kind of happens at the top or I can have it so that 
this stuff kind of resolves a little bit more so that it, I don't know, it's it's going to be a matter of figuring out how to get everything to, to work out quite right. Um, let me see. I have to tease him about it because he mentioned the number above 10. I can tease him often so it's needed. I'm turning 30 this year so I have to remind him first. <laughs> yep. I'm turning 35 this year so, you know, kind of fun. Cool to see artists' thought process and learning so much. That's good. I'm glad you're enjoying it. Uh, Norabite. Miss this stream. So happy you're doing it today. Yeah, I'm happy in doing it too. I, I I really want to be able to project uh pro, um to Oh my goodness. Um Okay, I got an idea for how I want to be able to work with this. Um, I don't know where my mind just went. Is that typical of somebody my age? <laughs> Okay. Got to try to cozy these out some so that it's not so spaced in. I think that this will work out pretty nicely, and I think that that'll help to kind of support that shape a little bit better. So we'll have to see how that how that goes. Um, yeah, but it's it's nice to be able to jump back on this project. I've wanted to make her uh, like to progress her along for a while now. So yeah, definitely, definitely nice to be able to work on her. It's been such a long time. <laughs> oh. Looks like somebody found me on Gumroad. Save mirror and weld just to make sure we're keeping it the same on both sides. We're making some awesome progress on this today. Uh, Retopology is one of those things that can take a ton of time. So I'm just trying to make sure that I am getting everything that I need out of it. So there's that interior of the mouth zone. Um, let me see, let's, let's grab all these bits here. Invert it, make sure we have everything, and we'll just make it a different color. So now we've got these different poly groups going around right here. Um, this will make it a lot easier to kind of create um, the basis for my for my mouth bag, just so that it's ready. Um, but yeah, and then everything up here is made to support the shape of the nose coming in. This is this is working. This is working. This will be this will be good. Uh, let me see. Let's get this to kind of smooth out just a smidgen. I'm just a baby. I'm just a baby. <laughs> he 
you see always struggle when doing retapo and avoid getting triangles and engons match all the edges yeah i think that's one of the things that i really enjoy about doing it with zbrush is that i can't have uh engons um quad draw is really nice um Z modeler is really nice. So like between the two of those, um, I can get I can get all my topology done. Um, it's it's really really nice. If I you know occasionally I can use something like Z remesher to be able to get myself you know seventy percent of the way there. Um, but I usually like to try to control it by hand because I can. It just it it comes out more the way that I need it. So, yeah, you were thinking <laughs> it happens sometimes. Uh, when you say triangles are sometimes unavoidable and necessary in the face, uh, what areas are they crucial to avoid? I mean, I, I, I think that triangles are actually, like, I don't think they're ever really, that there's ever really a time where triangles are necessary. Um, it's something that I feel like we can avoid every time. Um, so I think it just becomes a matter of uh, you know, care and planning. Um, there are some things where, you know, for instance, I mean, I mean, if we check the eyeballs, the eyeballs have triangles going around the center here. Um, that's unavoidable we have this pole here that's odd. I mean, one of the things that you could do is you could have like a smoothed out cube um, instead. I don't remember. Okay, so that's not, that's not that way. Um, you could have something like this where it is Let's come over here, we'll say, sorry, I hit the wrong buttons there. Uh, you can have uh, a piece like this. Where you see it's, it's, it's still a sphere, but it has, you know, it's all quads. Um, Yeah, so you can add triangles, or, or you can modify triangles by adding an edge loop. So it just it's just a matter of kind of controlling and, and figuring out where what direction to put that edge loop in, because that can be kind of a messy thing to create. It's essentially, like if we look at this, you know, this is a this is a triangle. But if we delete this triangle, add in an edge loop, and bridge things together, you know, then we have a quad. Then we have a quad, so it's it's a similar sort of sort of principle there, um, but by having this, you know, this creates a nice smooth shape. We have to be be careful. We have to control it so that it doesn't get you know lumpy and messy. And these areas where we have these three pointed stars right in here, that can sometimes create artifacting. So it's a matter of having enough resolution to it that it doesn't uh, that it doesn't cause issues. But uh, yeah, I mean it's uh it's it's nice. It's it's one of those things. Let me see. Let's say geometry, delete hidden. We'll say put that in the center. We'll say position, change this to 0 so that that's centered in the world. In fact, we could even go over here and say deformation uh unify so that way it's just in the middle and it's nice and centered. If we come over here, we have this spherize button. It's already spherized as much as it can go. But if we go ahead and we go ahead and say uh, control D a few times, uh, we can hit spherize to be able to make sure that, that just finesses that shape. So now this is a nice sphere that we can use that doesn't have any kind of artifacting to it. It's as, it's as nice as it can get. And it's all quads, so it's a, uh, it's kind of nice. It's a nice, a nice way to go about getting a good sphere without having to worry about anything really. Um, if I remember correctly, this is how our eyes are on Overwatch. You know where they're, 
they're a smoothed out cube. Um, so yeah, I can kind of keep that in mind, I guess, you know, it's, it's, it's fun. I actually don't need this piece anymore, so I'm just going to delete it. I am going to jump over to the topology. And uh, let's bring back the stuffs. Yeah. But yeah, those those are some interesting uh some interesting things to kinda think about and consider. You know, quads quads are always going to be better and triangles are never going to be absolutely necessary. <laughs> you know what? I think I want to eliminate another one of these. So I don't want this to be too It's like it's just getting it's just getting messy though. I'll have to think about that later. It's 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 not as important of a of a point to me at the moment. Let's uh let's go ahead and we'll grab this. Hit Alt just to be able to get that whole loop going down. Oops. Right here, one of the things that I'm getting, this is a little bit long, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna adjust this up for right now. Have this be kind of like a midway point. These kind of come down, create a connection. One of the things that I'm trying to consider is, I mean, I've got a ton of points going in here uh, from the chin. I'm trying to consider if I want to take these and make it so that I have fewer points so then it becomes something more like yeah, maybe maybe a little bit further over instead of being there it can be over here um, but essentially what I what I what I'm thinking about with this is that then just having like this uh, this chin topology because that'll potentially help me to lock in oops mirror and weld Uh, this could this could help me to lock in some different uh, shape ideas. It'll help me to minimize the topology going into the neck, um, and it'll help me to get possibly some uh, some definition going around the chin. Um, so yeah, lots of things to kind of think about that. See. 
rounded cube reminds me of some of the f round foam D and D dice I've seen. That's interesting. Maybe reduce the end gun, uh, the nose down to two. Yeah, I mean I've got, I've got that. So like the nose kind of comes down, reduces, and goes down to two, and I've got this kind of coming down. But then this kind of yeah. Anyway, so it's it's down to like four. Um, I think at some point down inside of the mouth, I'll have this so that it reduces down to two, so that this connects nicely. Um, but I think I'm going to need to, to model it out because I think one of the things that, that I have happening, like for instance here, um, I might have to get rid of this and have this come out and across. Okay, let's do it this way so that we can... It's like we could do something like that, bring this down, bring this down. I mean, it creates kind of like some interesting artifacting here, but I mean, this should be something that will be hidden eventually because it'll be, yeah, it is a puzzle that you make. Because, <laughs> um, yeah, this this will be something that'll be hidden back at the back of the mouth. And so it's, it's not something that I'm super worried about. Um, Yeah. Yeah, it's not something I'm super worried about. Eventually it'll be easy enough to worry about. <laughs> yeah, so that's that's kind of where where that's going to sit for now. I'm going to grab this, kind of pull it back some. Pull this in, something like this. I think we're getting a little bit too messy in here. Trying to trying to control this. Yeah, so you can see you're starting to hide some of these things. And if we wanted to, we could just grab this. Control, click and drag just to be able to kind of pull it back. So now we have a little bit of like an inset for the mouth. Kind of flatten this out some so that it's not so crazy. Gonna pull this around so that it feels a little bit more uh, connected to the corner of the mouth, but yeah. Anyway, so that that'll be kind of part of that, and it, it's going to be kind of tricky making sure that that doesn't get touched between here and the end of the uh, project. But you know, it's worthwhile. It's it's fun, uh, kind of having it so that it feels a little bit more advanced. Uh, we have we've made some good progress. I mean, it, it's going to take a while. This is such it's going to be a very long project and I, I fully intend for it to be done. Right. Um, so let's see, let's kind of pull this back this way. Some, One of the things I gotta try to figure out is like right now, right now I'm getting kind of a, yeah, this isn't quite making the right shape that I want. So let's 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 fix this real quick because this will be a good important thing to have done right. Well, it's like I've I've got it going along the bottom side on every other point except for right here. I don't know. Let's see. Let's have it go more to the outside of the eyelid.
try to check in on chat every once in a while to make sure that I'm not missing <laughs> not missing comments okay this area right here is one where I need to make sure that this is creating that crease for over the eye It's like I'm I'm still only uh, I'm still not a hundred percent convinced about the uh about that specific edge flow kind of going and this is all experimental. I mean, this is something that I'm doing on purpose, but it's I'm still not convinced, which is funny. Cuz I know it's something that I'm I'm doing, I'm experimenting with, I'm trying something different. I usually like when I create topology for uh for an eye uh for an area around the eye, I try to make sure that I have uh, a good ring going around the eye and um and I mean because it because that's you know what works really nicely in the world of animation um this this character I want it to be a little bit like I want the topology to be a little bit more sophisticated um And so I want to have kind of like an upper lid that kind of overlaps with um, that kind of overlaps with the lower lid. Kind of creates like that uh, that crow's feet wrinkle. Japwe. Orale. All right. So like with these, now I can just grab this. In fact, let's kind of angle it so it's control, click, and drag. Just kind of shrink it in a little bit. So we got something kind of like this, and then we'll control click and drag more, bring it up. I want to be careful with this uh, corner of the eye over here and this inside part of the eye because if I'm not, <laughs> um, it could create some issues for sure. Yeah, let's go ahead. I'm just going to smooth it some just to try to make sure that it's nice and uh, spaced out. So this is this is starting to create some definition and create some space for... Um, thanks, hand tracks. It's... I really enjoy retopology it's it's fun it's it's a chore and there are definitely uh some major challenges with it <laughs> and it definitely takes a long time but it's fun i enjoy it it's nice Cause it's one of those things that i can just get into and oh that's not a great color for there okay That'll be good. Control Shift X. And that can work for there. Okay, it's just trying I'm just trying to go through and define specific polygroups so that I can keep track of landmarks. Oh, we're past ten o'clock, so I'm gonna need to kind of wrap this up here. Um yeah, this is where we're at. This is where we're going. Okay, we're making we're making progress. We're definitely, definitely, definitely making progress. So 
that uh that mouth is an absolute mess though <laughs> cuz you know it needs to be the new mouth <laughs> um but that's that's working out nicely so far obviously the uh the inside of the eye needs to kind of you know create more space we're going to need to create like a like a tear duct piece in fact while we're doing that let's while we're while we're here might as well right Let's rotate this so that it kind of follows that shape a little bit better. Um, symmetry. Going to kind of push this around so that it fits that shape. And we'll refine this at some other point, but it's you know it's good to have it in there for now. We'll say uh, split unmasked so that it's there. I hit tab on accident. But yeah, so you can see there's there's our progress so far. There's a there's a lot left to do and it'll 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 happen. It'll come. It'll happen, it'll happen, it'll happen. All things in that due course. Cool. Let's go through, we'll say control shift X, control W just to make sure we have our own polygroup there. Progressing along. Good deal, guys. <laughs> Very relaxing, but I like 5,000 piece <laughs> puzzles too. It does feel like a big puzzle. I love it. Yeah, I love it too. It's 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 a lot of fun, and it's a yeah definitely a ton of work, but it's so worth it in the end. Um, the nice thing is that I can go through. I can bring in those that eyeglass to make sure that this is working as it should can kind of realign things as as needed and make sure that I have a good consistent thickness with my uh, with my eyelids make sure that it's following forms it's 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 a lot but it's nice I enjoy it it's a lot but I enjoy it <laughs> Hello, kitty cat. I might try to pick this up at uh, some other point when it's uh, not stream time. We'll have to see. <laughs> Work on it on my on my personal stream or even just on my own like quiet time or something so that I can get a little bit more progress a little bit more quickly or something, but it's fun. Thanks for coming and hanging out, guys. Uh, yeah, I always, I always enjoy having good people around and being able to enjoy the time with you guys. Uh, hope you guys had a great time. Um, we'll, uh, we'll pick this up. We will pick this up uh, next week, 
I believe. Let me check my calendar actually just to make sure. Calendario. Oh, you know what? It's not on here. Let's do this instead. We'll open up the Calendario here. Um, come into next week. And yeah, here we are. Eight o'clock in the morning. There's a stream happening just before mine, so hopefully, hopefully I can go ahead and get everything. Uh, man, it's like it, I alternate every week, where it's like I have a stream before me, and then I have a stream after me, and then I have a stream before me, <laughs> stream after me. Oh boy, that's it's cool though. I mean, it's cool to see these. Uh, to see everybody and to see new streamers join the family. I don't know, maybe I'll start, maybe I'll pick Sunday mornings now or something instead. I wonder if that'll be easier for people. It uh, might be easier for me. Because um, I think Rodolfo, he's he's new to the stream family. And last month he had uh, he had picked up my, my stream time. I had no idea how I had lost my stream time. I thought I had scheduled it. Um, but, uh, yeah, it was just, it was just kind of, uh, kind of bizarre to me. So anyway, last month was, uh, mostly Rodolfo because something had happened with my scheduling that it didn't go through. Um, so, I mean, it seems to be like, like that today, like this morning works better. Uh, Saturday mornings work better for Rodolfo. So I might see about, uh, maybe switching days or something so that it's so it just opens up and then I'll just share a day with Layla. Um so yeah, anyways, later today we have Anissa, so that'll be cool. Um and yeah. Be sure to check her out. I'm I'm going to have to try to tune in. I I haven't uh, I haven't seen her streams yet, so uh yeah, and then again, if you're interested in being able to see any of my links, feel free to visit. Feel free to visit me. You can find me anywhere. Instagrams on here. Everything you know. So I've got. I've got all the fun. Go have fun. <laughs> Come say hi. And yeah, gosh, I will see you guys next time I see you. Until next time, it's been a pleasure. Smartest out.